Welcome to State of Tech. My name's Jared, and I have an alternative to Apple Airbuds here to share with you today. Uh, this, uh, I don't even really know what the brand is. Uh, the box came, it says Zero Tone on them. They are true wireless stereo headphones, white, and they're made in China. Uh, they are an alternative to AirPods, though, and I decided to order some because I wanted some Bluetooth earbuds I could just pop in. Uh, I, you know, have heard from people who have AirPods that the audio quality is really good. They've got uh, better audio performance than the typical earbuds. Um, I have a pair of, of Beats in-ear wireless headphones um, that are Bluetooth. They've got the cord that goes behind your neck. I have a few other pairs from different companies as well. And the audio quality is just always really kind of high in the treble, no bass to it. And they're just not really that good, uh, you know, as far as audio quality goes. And it's a real bummer, which is why I tend to end up using a wired pair of headphones still uh, when I'm at the gym, you know, when I'm uh, on a bike ride or something like that. I just want better audio quality. I mean, it's not too much to ask for. Um, so with Bluetooth headphones, you tend to have to, uh, you know, really look for bigger headphones that have more power. Um, I thought I'd give these a try because they're under $50. They're significantly cheaper than Apple's AirPods. Uh, they come, they kind of have a similar, you know, look and style to them. And so here they are. And I've spent a little bit of time with them. So let me talk a little bit about them. So they come in a box that has pretty much zero branding on it, except for this sticker. And uh, so that leads me to believe that this is just a product that anybody could buy in bulk and sell as their own brand. A lot of things that come, you know, from China that are mass produced have that. And uh, um, that is probably the case with, uh, with these. So it comes in a little charging case. And what they say is the charging case will provide you uh, up to an, uh, three hours of additional playback time. It takes about an hour and a half to charge these things from zero power on up. Uh, so what's great is you could plug in that micro USB in the bottom and it comes with a short USB-A to micro USB uh, plug that you can use to charge. And it will charge the, the box itself and it will charge the earbuds. And then when you pop the earbuds out of the case here, and listen to music for a while, and then you pop them back in the case, it's gonna go ahead and automatically top off your power on the earbuds, giving you additional playtime, which is fantastic. I mean, it's the same thing that the uh, AirPods do um, in their little box. I don't believe that this has any form of wireless charging. I've seen uh, in some Apple images with their recent announcement of the wireless charging capabilities that they're putting in coming next year that their little AirPods case uh, supports it, or maybe a new version of their AirPods case is going to support wireless charging. I doubt that this does, I haven't tested that, uh, but with it having its own built-in battery and you know micro USB, it's easy to charge this um, overnight or whatnot. You can even charge this, the battery in this, uh, while you're, while the air, these, uh, I don't know what to call them, while these not AirPods are being used in your ears. So pairing them is pretty simple. What I did first was just uh, held down the power buttons on both of them. Power button is up here. It started to flash the typical pairing mode of Bluetooth, red and blue. And what happened was that they both showed up as Bluetooth objects in my phone. I'm on a, a Galaxy Note 8 here, but these are gonna work on any Bluetooth uh, device. I This morning I even paired them to my computer. So they're gonna work uh, on anything that uh, has a Bluetooth uh, audio output source. And so um, pairing them to my phone, I did pair both of them, although only one of them will be paired to your phone at a time. And whichever one is paired to your phone, uh, that one will send signal over to the other one because there's no way to pair two Bluetooth, two of these at the same time to your phone. Um, what I did find is whichever one you select to pair to is the one that's going to accept the phone calls. Because when you are taking a phone call, and talking to somebody uh, through this uh, this little ear ear pod device or whatever, um, the audio comes in through one of the ears. It doesn't come in through both of the ears. So that's kind of cool because then if you're like if you listen to music, you get a phone call, you can pop one of those out and set it down for a minute while you take your phone call, uh, and then put that back in, you know, when you're done and ready to start listening to music again. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and power these up, just press and hold both buttons for a second, and they power up. And then they both give you a message letting you know that they're connected uh, in your ear, you can hear that. And you just pop them right in your ears like so. Now they are a little large, you know, they're bigger than AirPods, they are slightly bigger. They're not a lot bigger, but they're they're noticeably bigger. Uh, I actually had, when I got these, I took a picture and sent it to my wife and my wife said, you know, it looks like you have, and she referenced a feminine hygiene product uh, sticking out of my ears, which I agree, like even the AirPods from Apple, it just looks goofy with these things sticking out of your ears. It's gonna take a little bit of time for us to get past the iconic you know, white Apple earbuds with the cable and all that stuff uh, that we've been used to since, you know, uh, Apple came out with the iPod and it was part of their marketing uh, marketing plan. So these are connected now. And what I was really surprised uh, about is the audio quality. So I'm going to go ahead and open up an app that I use for music, which is Google Play Music, and then just hit play and it's going to start playing music it was a little loud. I left it a little loud uh, from earlier today. What surprised me was the quality of the audio. Like these are really good, really good quality audio. They're better than the in-ear Beats Bluetooth that I have that have a cable connecting between the two. I have a, a pair of Jabra headphones Bluetooth that uh, these sound way better than. Um, I even have a few pair of wired headphones that these sound better than. They actually produce really good quality audio with lots of bass, which is good. I like that in my music. I wanna feel my music a little bit. Um, and then it's, it's not uh, muddled on the top end either. It's definitely not you know, the, the type of quality that you're gonna get out of an over-ear or an on-ear headphone, but for an in-ear, tiny little Bluetooth headphone like this, it's really good quality. Now, question also is latency between the two of them. There's no cable going between them, so music goes to one or signal goes to one, and then it has to produce a signal that reaches the other one. And I have been unable to notice any latency listening to music, listening to audiobooks or podcasts, it all sounds really good. I've, I've been really impressed with the quality that comes out of these little devices. So when you're all done, you're uh, basically just going to press and hold those power buttons down again for a second, and they're gonna turn off, and then you can put them right back in the case, like so. Um, you set them in the case, and then when you close the lid, it presses them down, and you'll notice two little red lights come on um, that is charging them. So now they're gonna charge up back to full, uh, full power and they're ready to go again. And then when you're home or when you're back at your office or wherever, you can take and plug into actual power to charge the entire pack itself. So for under $50, I mean, you get something that I believe to be on par with what Apple produces uh, for their AirPods. I know there are little differences. The AirPods are smaller. The AirPods, uh, you know, I, I, from what it says on paper, have a little bit longer of a battery life, um, but the AirPods are also really expensive, and you can get a couple pairs of these for the price of a pair of AirPods, and I think uh, these are probably a better buy, and they're gonna work with any device, whether you're on uh, something other than an iPhone, you wanna connect them to your computer, you wanna connect them to your Samsung phone, um, or whatnot, you can use them as opposed to the AirPods, which are primarily designed for Apple devices. So that's gonna do it for my review today on these uh, kind of aftermarket AirPods, I guess you could say. Um, I've provided link in the description below to these. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, they've got a ton of good reviews, which is why I thought to give them a try in the first place. And I'm here to say that they do live up to those reviews. Definitely check them out. Once again, link is in the description below. If you have any questions or thoughts about these, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button so that you can be notified when we put out new videos about other stuff. So thanks so much for checking out this video. We hope to see you back here soon.